<laughs> Welcome to Cracker Fall Hub Central Station, where we're going to be starting this tour, tour of the generations. Please keep your hands, feet, and ears inside the train at all time, and do not, uh, uh, no stepping on the left side of the train. I don't know. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Solid six out of ten. Yeah, I was. I, I didn't. I didn't plan anything that I was gonna say, and I should have. I should have written down a little script, but oh well. So, uh, this episode. In the last week, offline, I have completed my first train loop. It's a single track loop, and it's it's planned to be kind of a, a sky monorail slash like tour uh, loop slash supplies delivery state like network. So I have it stopping at a bunch of different stations. And last time we had stopped right above the box site, um, but yeah, I finished it. I, I love the I love the camera in this game. I ran out of things to say, so the bit is over. <laughs> I I uh, I should have written stuff down, wrote written stuff down. But yeah, I finished I finished the train station, and I want to show it to you. So that's it. <laughs> oh wait, I forget who asked, but I I, I marooned this copper ingot. And I picked it up just for you. All right, yeah, I've made I've made a lot of progress. Um, so much that I don't remember it all. I have basically completed the first floor of the clean factory. And unfortunately, I, I need to tweak the graphics settings because it doesn't look too great right now. Uh, that corner is just undone. That's not graphics, but. Like you can't see through it until the very like you're very close. But we'll we'll get to that later. Uh, I'll show you I'll show you everything that I've done since. We come over here. I do need to start on the alternate man's. I've got the giant man. He's almost ready. I just need to do his face. But I'd like to uh, make more giant people. I have. Well, I, okay. Well, <laughs> I went by too fast. But I have I have a fuel gen plant. Uh, and uh, the power is looking pretty good, so I'll, uh, I'd like to show that to you as well. Let me see. I'd like to actually stop in here. This is going to be a supply room, kind of like Indiana Jones style, where you know they put the Ark of the Covenant away at the end of the movie and of the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Except it's just going to be a storage and uh, like link up for the the train redistribution. I think the idea is that I'm going to have a train, like a couple trains that will redistribute all of the products that are made across the different bases, and I'll have specialized bases, and so it'll make it so it'll equalize the, the materials across all of the, all of the bases. So I can build whatever I want, wherever I want, and not have to go to the other side of the map. So that'll be nice. Oh, wait, I actually did want to dock, because I have a payload. Warehouse. That's that's the that's the word I was looking for. I am so tired. Like my brain is, my brain has got a lot of smoke coming at it right now. Possibly the number thirteen warehouse thirteen. Isn't that a show? I think I've seen an episode or two. So this game is so good to chill out with. This entire time, when I made this uh, train station, I'm actually gonna slow down because this uh, this train tracks like I didn't pay attention to anything. I was just literally placing foundations, placing tra train tracks, and then moving on. So like I, I really actually haven't taken in the sights. Like there's a river there that splits into like Chinese style uh, mountains. I bet there's caves around here somewhere. I'd like to explore the caves. Oh, there's a power slug. It's a good, it's a good show. Not many wacky but fun campy adult shows. 
Yeah, it reminded me of, like, Stargate almost. Just without the main, like, sci-fi sci hook. There's so much, like, in this map, like, I just haven't seen... Oh, there's a cave. I did not get the hop back. I haven't done any milestones. The giant trees, like, confuse me. Like, why are there huge trunks, but then small... small branches at the top or trunks at the top like it's such a weird alien formation I, I, I'd love to know like actually how that kind of tree would I'd like to see a, a, a small tree like a juvenile tree version of the tree this actually looks like a good place for a water pump facility so I can pipe the water down and have all that head uh, reverse like negative head lift or pressure I guess is, is what you call it and this is the giant woman, which the giant woman's legs are all kind of chunky in the back. I think giant woman is something I'm going to be working on soon. It's been nagging on me in the back of my head. Oh, there's a hard drive up there, too. And then we have a stop in the giant man, which I think I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I actually have to move this um, this train station, but I'm gonna be doing um, sky elevator parts in giant man, I think. So I'm gonna be building a bunch of stuff outside and then I'll ship the materials to the giant man and have the giant man just manufacture materials and I'll have an awesome sink in here as well, which in a certain configuration, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the giant man's tubular nips just look funny up close. <laughs> uh, and then I made this little loop out here. I mean, the train tracks are not the smoothest, but I did my best to kind of keep them smooth. I really like this kind of visual tour of the the computer fab and the giant man. Kind of a like, nice little touch. I know, I'm so sad about Paradise Island. All right, I, I'm gonna do something really quick. And I'm just going to do a quick and dirty. I know you guys hate that. I still haven't taken out the floating foundation. No, because I keep forgetting about it. It doesn't exist until I, like, ride the train. I'm just going to fill up a bunch of fuel really quick. Uh, I'll let it fill up, because I want to have a train compartment that distributes the fuel throughout so I don't have to come back to the base for jetpack fuel which now that you say that um, I realize that I'm gonna get the hover pack and that'll make the jetpack obsolete which <sighs> whoops I actually your your question came into my mind and I'm like oh yeah I'll have the hover pack huh Object permanent struggles. They're they're real right now. I've got so much in my brain right now. Jetpack isn't obsolete. You know what? I like <laughs> I like hearing that, so I'm going to believe it. Uh for the shipping, I actually need to fix this. I've got computer parts and electronics from the fab facility coming in. I've got reinforced plates and uh oh I've got heavy frames as well. Uh, but those are coming in very slowly. I also need motors and stators and other stuff. Yeah, that's going to be tricky because I know that the um, the ratios of items is kind of hard to maintain. Uh, I think it it works pretty well here, so that's fine. But yeah, that's a that's a problem that I'm going to actually probably build an Excel, Excel spreadsheet for. From seeing your playstyle, you may actually prefer the jetpack most of the time. Hover hover pack doesn't preserve momentum, so it doesn't pair with the Blade Runners. Oh, I'll probably second that then. I'll, I'll have it as a secondary movement style f for building only. Because I really do like the, the inertia management. 
All right, let's uh I'm just going to use the the cannon and and shoot out somewhere. And we'll, we'll just uh we'll just uh see where we land. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I do have a lot of crates. Clean up some crates. <laughs> All right, but after that, I'm going to get started with the hard drive hunting. Let's start right by Tentacle Town. Oh, I, I thought I, oh, I was hoping I could bounce on the boy. On the big boy. That would have been cool. Honestly, I'm not sure why you want me to clean up crates right now, because we just get to see the ugly spaghetti. Although, to be fair, I have cleaned up a lot of this. Um, just to get it more efficient. Oh, there's one near. It's like right here. There it is. Oh, one in front of me too. Oh, well that was fast. There Was there only two there, really? Oh, and I need to find the doggos. <sighs> Pain. Nothing wrong with a bit of spaghetti. We can't all be its bits. I know, right? I I still need to watch his uh, tips and tricks. Uh, somebody told me that the tips and tricks um, that he gives are non-spoilery. Just uh, like, here's something you can do in the game, which I really like that style. Honestly, these crates are mostly from times when I'm cleaning stuff up and I dismantle, uh, I dismantle without room in my inventory, and then I don't notice that a crate has spawned. There's one near. There it is. Uh, and this is an intentional crate, which is hilarious. I'll just <laughs> put stuff in the intentional crate. Oh, this looks like a uh, street light or something, and there's just like a, a electrical box at the bottom. Hey, we cleaned everything up in this area. Cool. All right, let's head over to the hypertube cannon. That's actually really relieving to have that done because I've kind of been avoiding cleaning up those storage crates. I don't like them. I don't like that they clutter up my map. A good storage facility can really help with the crates since you dump useless materials in an auto sorter. Yeah, I, I am planning to do that kind of thing. I've, I've been setting up a lot of overflow. Um in my new factory. Hey, here's a hard drive. <gasps> Radiation! Uh, six turbo motors, which I don't have yet. How are they surviving? Are they, are they immune to radiation? All right, we haven't really been in the red forest. Oh. Hello. How are you doing? You gonna let me get this? There we go. Oh! Ha ah, ha ha, I still got it. You guys stink at your jobs. <laughs> you ever told a speed pig they suck at their job? Ah, oh, dang it. I don't care about those. I just... Oh, that's a new cat. Legally compels you to uh, I didn't mean artifact. to break the bamboo for that. My next starter build, or my next uh, save file, might start in the forest. Is this the forest where you start? Because that would be that would be really cool. Red Forest is an end game area. All the hard drives there require some pretty complex parts. Oh, we should probably move on then, huh? Well, I'm going to explore just a little bit just to see what's around here because this is this is a lot of cool area. 
they do jump very high. They were they were cool. Purple slug. Uh, when I was doing the the train station or the train tracks. Oh! Oh no! I just realized that I was really hurt. I think I actually blew up blew up myself. <sighs> Dang it! I got so in my hubris. I got so I got so cocky. You know I cannot wait for turn night to day commands. I, I just don't like nighttime. If there was some kind of like change for night I think meaning like if it got harder at night like if enemies and and uh things were more aggressive at night that would be cool I think that would make it a little bit more worthwhile ah frick that wasn't far enough let's try about here there we go now where's my death crate Right there? I think it's right there. <laughs> that was a little too close. I... I f saw the trees on the edges of the map. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Oh my gosh, if I had gotten out here just to die at the very end, I would have been so mad. Or... or sad, I guess. This looks like a plasma rifle in, uh, or, or a laser rifle in Fallout. Oh, it's a one one shot fire? Oh, that's not fun. 15 shot magazine? Oh, I, oh. Okay, I just reloaded immediately. Why did I think that it was a one one shot magazine when I pressed the reload button? I just didn't remember. It then happens. I, I'm sorry. I'm a compulsive reloader. It annoys some of my friends because I'll fire once and even though there's plenty of damage in the magazine, like potential damage, um, I still reload. And sometimes I die because I turn around a corner and there's an enemy. Whoa. Well, that didn't kill him. You know, I might go back to the rebar gun. If uh, if it doesn't if it takes half a magazine to kill um to kill a speed pig, then that's you know, that's two shots for a rebar gun. Okay. And I don't have a gas mask, so I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Uh, this is why I'm glad I have a rebar gun. Or not a rebar gun. I have, um, the jumpy jumpies. I, I literally cannot access that memory right now. Blade Runners. No! 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 Oh my gosh, I do need inhalers. Uh, somebody asked me if I had those a while back, and I need them. Let's give it another try. Blast him! 
So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> Got him. Hey, there we go. You know, I was hoping the rifle would be a little bit more powerful. But I guess those are tough spiders. You guys told me those were tough spiders. I'll have to measure it against the normal enemies. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, well I'm gonna have to leave some of this crate here. But let's grab the stuff that we can. Uh, rotors. We can put some rotors away. Harvest. Hit. I guess I'll just leave a lot of this stuff as a cache you are so for lucky me to you found this most valuable pick up later. Alright. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest. Now that that fiasco is over, late. and I have a, I have a, a gun. I need to get out of the the red forest. I bet I can't open this hard drive, huh? Oh, he's he's got armor. I've been shooting his armor. I didn't expect that. I figured it would be armor piercing. There we go. Not enough space, okay. Battery broken. High speed connectors. 112 megawatts? Do I wanna stop for that? I do wanna stop for that, cause I have the stuff. Let's do it. What? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, do I need a third one because it's 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 150, right? I should have more than enough. Maybe it's the startup cost of the bio burners. That must be it. The startup cost of the bio burners is much higher uh, when you're overclocking it, so that meant my efficiency was really low. Alright, well, uh, is there anything else I can't- well, let's just put the hard drive in the man. Uh, nothing else good around here, is there? Okay. Can I dump anything? I really don't need silica. I've got a ton of it. Got a ton of circuit boards as well. Why not use the trash slot in your inventory? Because every resource is precious. And if I drop it, I might find it later. <laughs> this is... This is inside the mind of a, of a hoarder. It's uh, it's the 90s kids finish everything on your plate mentality, which I guess it's not just 90s kids. It's the it's the finish everything on your plate mentality. Don't waste food. Trashless satisfactory run. Yeah, exactly. It's it, that that is what I'm doing on accident. All right, let's take out the scanner. Oh, I can scan for hard drives. I could say I love satisfactory, but my only issue with it is lack of replay value. Honestly, I I could see I could see myself replaying this game. I probably will, but I suppose that's because I I have these stupid builds that I do. That's like that's saying the re replay replayability for Minecraft is poor. I can see that. I I think this is a little bit different than Minecraft because there's certainly kind of like a a a more suggested progression. 
um, with the tiers and everything, like unlocking the tiers. And if that's, if you're like the kind of, okay, I used to work at GameStop and I talked to all kinds of people. And I also, you know, help people trade in games. And I'll tell you right now, a lot of people complain about GameStop trades and maybe I'll save that, I'll save that opinion for later. But the best time to trade games in is almost always as soon as the games come out. Um, so if you buy a game, you can come back and trade it in for like 50 bucks instead of, you know, and you bought it for 60. I don't know if that's still true, but it was when I worked there. So I would see all kinds of people that would play the game. Well, let's bring out the scanner while I'm talking. Uh, I, they would play a game that just came out and they would play it as fast as possible. And I would like talk to them like, yeah, they just like Skyrim. I, I had people trade in Skyrim when they played it literally 10 hours. And they're like, the game, is, the game sucks, it was too short. And I'm like, it's Skyrim. So Skyrim, it, it, thousands of hours for me. <laughs> like, you can play Skyrim for so dang long. Um, but some people just railroad the progression and they just, that's it. They like play the main quest and that's it. So like, I, obviously that's kind of extreme. Like, I, I don't know if Vex, you're, you're on that camp, but you know, for people that are more objective based for the objectives that are with you, you know, right in front of you, I, I can get this game having, you know, harder replay value or, or di more difficult for a replay value. Me though, like I, here it is, found it. I, 48 megawatts. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I will pick, a, I will make my own objective. Let's just say that. And, uh, so I can see myself, I could see myself playing this game forever. You have not even scratched the surface of this game? Yeah, I, I, I feel like it. And honestly, I might like this game more than Raft, to be honest. Because Raft, I played for 250 hours, something like that. And I felt like I played it a long time. Like, there's not that much to do. And I played it a long time because I... I, like, had my own goals. But this game, I played 250 hours and... <laughs> there's so much left. Oh! Thank you for telling me that. I had, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I... Okay, so if you press right-click... If you right click, it will switch the thing that it's scanning for. And that's that's really unfortunate because that's very easy for me to miss. Hello, future Kraken here. I realized that when I was recording this episode, I didn't actually come back to this wildly different factory <laughs> that I showed off a little bit at the beginning during the train tour, but I didn't actually show you guys what I had done from last episode. We were working on aluminum. And so I'll show you that first. You can see I doubled up resources both on coal, which I don't think you can, oh, you can see right there that belt on that leg of the factory. And then I doubled up on quartz as well. I, I provided a full factory of input silica um, and bauxite is now running as fast as I can. I think it's Mark IV belts, I'm not sure. Yeah, Mark IV belts, bauxite's coming in as fast as it can. Uh, and then we have packaged water, which I think worked out pretty well. And with that, we have the foundries for the output aluminum. So the scrap aluminum comes in, um, and then I have, a f I'm pretty sure I'm using it as much as I can. I'm using alclad sheets and aluminum casings, using it for those two things. Uh, and I just built a fleet of storage because you can never have too much resources, in my opinion. You can see I've done a heck of a lot, uh, just processing of materials um, around this factory, which I believe we've called Kraken Industries. Uh, you can see I have gone for a much, much more organized and compact design and uh, it really helps. I'm using load balancing here, uh, which isn't the most most compact way to do it, uh, but it is doing everything evenly. You don't get any kind of resource delay, especially if you have um, incomplete calculations, uh, which is how I like to do it. Uh, I, I think manifolds I'll eventually use, but 
not at this point in this playthrough. Uh, since this is future me, I'm just going to pretend like I don't know any more than I do. Uh, and then finally, I, I did expand over here. I've got Caterium running. I think this is Caterium Quickwire. Okay. And then we have uh, concrete production as well. So it looks great. It's all going really well. And I'm super happy with it. There's so much more that I can do, but it's it's really become it's awesome. It's awesome. It's very satisfying. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good one. Yes, this is recorded on update eight because I I pulled out an old save and and update eight is what's on my computer right now. So things will look a little bit different next episode. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.